Congratulations on purchasing a Shelter Logic Garage. For this video, we are assembling a Shelter Logic Garage in a Box, which will familiarize you with assembly procedures common to most Shelter Logic shelters. Please be sure to refer to your instruction manual for specific instructions pertaining to your shelter. Most Shelter Logic garages can be fully assembled by two to three people in approximately two hours. Start by setting out all parts of your shelter on a large, flat surface. Check that all parts indicated on your parts list have been included in your kit. Each frame component is labeled for easy identification. In the event of a missing part, do not call the retailer where you purchased the shelter. Shelter Logic will promptly assist. Call us direct at the toll-free number for your area found in the instruction manual. Begin assembly with the roof structure. Lay out the roof frame parts as illustrated in the instruction manual. Be sure to identify the correct parts for each connection before you begin. With the parts laid out, you are ready to assemble. Assemble first two ribs, attaching the straight pipe with the top and side connectors to the gable bend and side bend connectors. Note that all side bend connectors must be assembled with the long side facing up. For each end rib, bolts should face inward to avoid tearing of the end panels. Next, attach the top side cross rail with the patent pending shelter lock stabilizers. Be sure the shelter lock logo is facing up. Shelter Logic's shelter lock stabilizer feature adds strength and stability. Starting with the front rib, Connect the first section of cross rails by placing the Shelter Logic stabilizer between the rib and the rail and connecting them using the appropriate hardware. Continue along the frame. Once one side is complete, move to the opposite side and repeat. Assemble the top cross rail section over the middle ribs. When attaching the top cross rail to the end ribs, be sure to attach it under the ribs Failure to do so will damage the fabric cover and void its warranty. Pre-assemble all corner and middle legs with the appropriate hardware. Attach corner bends and foot plates as indicated in the instruction manual. Once all of the leg pieces are assembled, place them at each rib, making sure the legs with 90 degree bends are on the corners and facing into the garage. Ensure all bolts are facing into the garage as well. Start on the right side of the assembled roof frame by each taking a corner. Together, lift the roof frame by the top side cross rail. Insert the corner legs into the roof frame assembly. Work your way down the frame, inserting the middle legs until one full side is in place. Attach the legs to the roof frame connectors. Once attachments are secure, move to the other side of the frame and repeat. With the frame up and standing, assemble and attach the bottom cross rails. It is very important to hand tighten only at this stage. Starting on either side, assemble the bottom cross rails by attaching the cross rail to the frame rib with the bolt from outside to inside. Add washer and hand tighten nut. Continue until the complete bottom cross rail is attached to the frame. Move to the other side of the shelter and repeat. Note, you will need to disassemble the bottom cross rail after pulling the cover onto the frame. The bottom cross rail must be attached to ensure accurate, square placement of the frame upon its final destination. Once the unit is in place, measure the distance of the end rib openings, outside to outside. This measurement should be equal to that noted in the instruction manual. Next, measure the distance across opposite corners. These distances must match within one inch Adjust the frame to ensure equal distance as necessary. Shelters include enough shelter auger anchors for basic installation. These are intended for safe shelter construction and must be reinforced by additional anchors based on your soil conditions or grounding substrate. See your Shelter Logic retailer for ready to go anchoring kits for your particular installation. Insert a 3 quarter inch diameter pipe, steel rod, or heavy screwdriver through the eyelet of the shelter auger and rotate the anchor into the ground until the eyelet is one to two inches above ground level or at a position where the wire cable can be attached easily to the corner leg. Once the shelter auger is in place, wrap the anchor cable through the eyelet of the auger and the corner leg frame hole. Tighten the clamp screws to secure the cable. Warning: You must anchor your frame before attaching the cover. Serious injury to persons or property could otherwise result. 
Ratchet tight ratchets are provided for tightening the end panels and covers. To thread the ratchet, open it and thread the webbing through the back. Pull webbing to tighten any excess slack. Compress the slide lock and crank ratchet until the webbing is secure. Tip. Attach ratchet straps to the webbing ends or tie loose knots to prevent accidental pull through of webbing into pockets. Please familiarize yourself with their use before adding covers. Disconnect the top rail from the end rib by removing the 3 inch screw. Loop the webbing around the end rib. Pass the top cross rail back through the gap between the webbing and rib frame. Reattach the top cross rail to the end rib. Hold the end panel at the top center with the white inner surface facing inside the shelter. Wrap the fabric panel edges around the end rib to the inside of the frame. Remove nut and pass the web strap through and around the top side rail. Reattach nut and tighten. Repeat for each side of the end rib. Position the end panel so that it is even and centered on the frame before tightening the end top side rail panel with the ratchet straps. Insert the S-hook on the ratchet into the machined hole on the leg bend. Make sure to use the ratchet hole located inside the end rib. Tighten ratchets, alternating from one side to the other until the end panel is completely centered and tightened. Repeat for the zipper door front panel. Make sure zippers are closed when centering and tightening. Do a quick visual inspection to ensure that both end panels are attached evenly. Check inside edges to ensure the cover is snug and even around the roof frame. With both the back panel and door panel in place, you are ready to install the cover. The bottom cross rails must be removed in order to place the rails inside the pipe pockets when installing the cover. Carefully arrange the pieces so you can easily reassemble once the cover is in place. If you are building on a windy day, you may opt to disassemble the bottom cross rail after cover is draped over. Warning: If you are experiencing strong wind gusts or high prevailing winds, please wait for a calm day to finish installation of the cover. Lay the cover next to the frame with the white side, the side with the pipe pockets facing down, in line with the end ribs and the webbing on the front and rear corners of the frame. Tip. Attach ratchet straps to the webbing ends or tie loose knots to prevent accidental pull through of webbing into pockets. Pull the cover over the frame, making sure to center it. Check that there is an equal amount of overhang at all corners. Walk around the frame, pulling on each corner of the cover to even. The cover has sewn in pipe pockets on both sides. These should line up an equal distance to the bottom of the frame. Assemble ratchets with webbing straps. Place the S-hook of the ratchet into the outside hole of the end rib leg bends. Unzip and roll up the door to allow air and light into the shelter. Fasten the door with white bungee cords. Snug up each of the four corners, allowing some slack to enable necessary adjustments after the bottom cross rails are reinstalled. If the bottom cross rails are not already removed, do so now. After removing the bottom cross rails from the side ribs, Measure the distance from the bottom of the pipe pocket to the ground. Make sure all four sides are even and the valance overhang on the front and rear is the same. To confirm you have the cover on correctly, review the position of the Shelter Logic logo. The logo should be facing horizontal and positioned approximately six inches from the corner bend of the front end rib. This distance will vary among shelter models. Starting at one end, slide the bottom cross rails through the fabric pockets between each leg and reattach with the clamps as done previously. Hand tighten until all cross rails are assembled. Continue to hand tighten each connection point. Repeat the process on the other side until the entire cross rail is attached on both sides of the unit. Do not insert the bottom cross rails through the small pocket flaps. Push down on cross rails and tighten securely for optimum cover flexion. Maintain an even distance from the base of the pipe pocket to the ground. Work your way around the enclosure ensuring that the bottom cross rail is pushed down evenly. Note: Easy slide bottom cross rail connections should be checked periodically for proper tension. Push down and re-tighten as needed. When the cover is installed properly, you should not be able to get your fingers between the fabric and ribs. It should lay evenly without wrinkles. To ensure maximum lifespan, Shelter Logic recommends using one anchor per leg to secure your shelter. Please ask your Shelter Logic retailer, visit our website, or refer to your instruction manual for a complete list of anchor choices. 
your shelter is now complete and you are ready to enjoy.